Hey guys, what's going on? It's Carl here back with another episode and we are finally getting to my review of the brand new Pixel 2 XL, Google's latest flagship. Now I've used this for two weeks and I've been super fortunate enough to be sponsored by Google. So big shout outs to them for helping power this episode. That still means though my thoughts and opinions are my own and I wanted to save this review because there have been a few rumors just a lot of talk about this phone in general. We'll get to that later in the review, but if you are super stoked and if you like the Pixel XL2, especially in this Fire Panda way, I'm super fortunate as I partnered with Google, I will give away one of these very devices to one of you guys. So it's pretty simple to enter. Simply sub to the channel, smash that like button, maybe leave a comment down below why you would rock this guy and I'll announce the winners over on Instagram. So make sure you follow me over there as well. Best of luck to everyone. So first off, let's start talking about the design. I said in the beginning, I think this is the most fire colorway, the panda color option. We've got the two-tone look and it just looks more refined. And I think Google read my mind and they have an orange on and off button. For any of you that don't know, I have a strange affinity for all things orange. We've got the fingerprint sensor right in the middle on the back and it is lightning quick, probably one of the fastest fingerprint sensors that I've used and flipping on over to the front. We've got a six inch display that spans almost the entire front. It is a 2880 by 1440 P OLED display that is made by LG. And talking about the display are some of the major issues some users have been reporting. I wanted to really use this in depth over two weeks just to make sure that I didn't see some of those problems. The first, of course, being the screen burn-in. I've used this as my daily driver nonstop. I thankfully haven't noticed any issues, so I can't really report on that. But the second one is the blue shift that some people have been reporting. And if you do tilt the screen off axis, especially if you're on a white background, you kind of do see colors going towards the blue. Is that too big of a deal breaker? When you use your phone, you're mostly looking at it straight on. Maybe you might notice this if the phone is sitting off to the side, playing a video in the background. When you glance at it, the colors might seem a tad bit off. That's something that is hardware based and cannot change. Speaking about the actual color reproduction though on the display, it is a bit more muted, a bit more natural than say if you're looking at a Samsung display. That is obviously personal preference. If you're used to seeing more vibrant and saturated displays on other devices, you might think the one on the Pixel 2 XL might seem a bit muted. It does come down to personal preference. I really think the biggest issue is the screen burn-in. I haven't noticed that yet and I'm hoping that I never do. So now that we've talked about the hardware, let's get to the good old software, which is where Google phones usually shine. This is rocking, of course, stock Android Oreo 8.0. Everything is super quick, fluid, and intuitive, and there are definitely some little nuggets that I've loved using on Android 8.0. The first being the squeeze function to activate Google Assistant. Who won the World Series game yesterday? Astros beat the Dodgers seven to six. For other games, try asking about a particular team. That was a good game yesterday. It's just one of those things that's more intuitive, a bit quicker, and once you get used to it, it just becomes second nature. I'm not gonna talk too much about performance as I feel we're out of time. If you grab a flagship, every single thing that you find on the Google Play Store, it will be able to crunch through, handle without any issues. As I said, the operating system is super fluid. Whether you're multitasking, playing graphic intensive games, switching between emails, checking every social media possible, the Pixel 2 XL crunches and it crunches it hard, as it should, as it's expensive. So it starts at 850 bucks for 64 gigs, $950 for 128 gigs. That means up here in Canada, you are buying a smartphone that is over a thousand bucks, which is a ton of money. And you should hope that this phone is perfect for you. Let me talk about my favorite thing, why I think that price could be justified, and that's the camera. This is where all the hype is being, and I think this is where the hype is justified. It has just the one 12.2 megapixel camera on the back, and I know most of you might say it's only one camera. The iPhone has a dual lens setup. It can do portrait mode. The LG has an ultra wide lens. 
In this case, all you need is one. It is that good. So Google here is actually using what's called split pixels, where the sensor measures the difference in depth once you've taken a photo to decide what is kind of in the front and what is in the background to give it that bokeh effect. It works super, super well. And when you compare that to say the 7 Plus, you still have maybe slight inconsistencies on some images, but it has been awesome. One of my favorite, if not, I'm gonna actually say my favorite camera on a smartphone that I've used. Dynamic range, sharpness, color, everything that you'd want in a camera, it delivers perfectly in the Pixel. Even on the front, we've got an eight megapixel shooter and that can also do portrait mode. I find that the effect is a bit too exaggerated and I personally preferred having just the regular front facing camera without the portrait mode, but that once again is personal preference. If you do like that look, you always have that option to use it. And when it comes down to it, is the Pixel 2 XL worth it? I know it's super expensive, but I honestly think it is. You're paying for that entire stock Android experience. You're paying for an awesome camera. If you can look past the blue shift and hopefully your unit doesn't have that pixel burn in that I've seen, then yeah, it's an overall solid package. And just remember, I'm giving away a Pixel 2 XL to one of you lucky peeps, and I'm hoping I can snag another dope panda colorway. I hope you guys enjoyed this review. Just be sure to smash that like button, sub to the channel, and I'll catch the rest of you in one of my next episodes or vlogs. Peace. Matching. That was planned.